What's up, Pisces? Pisces, this is your uh, week ahead. Energy is beginning uh, February 3rd and ending February 9th, 2020. The messages will be for Pisces sun, moon, and Pisces rising signs as well. All right, my fellow fishes, I hope all is well. Uh, this reading is for Pisces and not Taurus, and I will make sure that I uh, try my best to stay focused on uh, the energies, but uh, I did uh, apologize for that mistake that I made last week as someone had brought it up to my attention that I seem to do it on a regular basis. I'm like, who does that? Okay, I'm not a perfect person. I'm just human, just like you are, okay? I do the best that I can do in delivering these energies, and sometimes I will make a mistake, okay? But it's not intentional. All right, without further ado, I'm using the Venetian deck uh, Pisces once more uh, to deliver your messages. There are some reversals here, so let's get underway. Without further ado, energies for Pisces this upcoming week, uh, <clears throat> beginning February 3rd, ending February 9th, as we're drawing closer to uh, Pisces' birthday energies uh, in the month of February. So energies for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Pisces rising signs. Shadow card energy, uh, Pisces for you, uh, relates to, though, well, the Six of Pentacles. So this is a card... I always uh, refer to this as my amendment card, so there could be, uh, for some of you this upcoming week, an apology uh, coming through uh, from some sort of uh, previous transgression that you had with uh, someone who was close to you. It could be, uh, you know, someone in the family, your significant other, romantic partner, uh, platonic friendship. This is also a card of uh, feeling grounded, feeling balanced as well, and then generosity, security, and uh, long-term energies and stability. So this could be getting a new job. There's an offering coming through. So a new job, a pay raise, a bonus. Uh, someone could be bumped into a slightly higher paying position. Uh, so this is good. This is a card that represents all of those energies. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female represents the uh, Six of Pentacles in your shadow cast energies okay so your um focus how do i want to do this now your focus would be this card here as opposed to the next card that was um came after the six of pentacles all right so your focus for the week uh, pisces relates to that of the three of wands three of wands basically uh, means that there is um Save passage to, save passage uh, from. When it comes to uh, traveling short distance or long distance, this opens you up. So that means that you have formulated some sort of ideas. You have written some things down. And now this week is the week. This is the green light to move those things forward. Whatever that is. This is an open general reading. It could be a, a, a project that you were working on, um, you know, either for yourself or with uh, in unison with other people. Uh, it could also mean um, those plans that you have written down that you want to move forward. It could be a relationship. It could be, uh, you know, wanting to start a new job, whatever. Whatever the situation is, this is the positive card. Uh, the green light saying, okay, it's good. Something positive moves forward. Uh, so, yeah, traveling short distance, long distance. And I always say, and I got to be careful with that because um, say passage to, say passage from, because I did a video uh, related to uh, Virgo. But these readings, and it just goes to show you, these readings don't always relate to everyone. And, uh, you know, I guess everyone has heard the tragic news about Kobe. Kobe happened to be a, a Virgo. Um, he's from the area where I live, you know, and it's like devastating that we have received uh, such tragic news. But in that reading that I did prior to the accident, uh, they received the chariot, but the overall energy was the moon, which is all about changes uh, in reputation. So, um, but I said safe passage to, safe passage from wherever you're traveling to. It didn't turn out that way uh, for him and those other souls, including his daughter, uh, who lost their lives. So prayers for them and his family. He's made a deep impact on a lot of people. Fire sign energy, three of wands, uh, Pisces. 
uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Up next is the card that crosses that, and this is your energy, Four of Cups. So this is a good card. Uh, so the Four of Cups for me is that emotional uh, type of energy where even though you know, you have the person that seems like they fell off the bridge and you have people on the top of the bridge trying to rescue this guy. And it doesn't seem like the water is that deep. <laughs> and so this is what makes the picture so funny uh, in terms of trying to save him. It's like he's standing up in the water. But this is about being around or being supported uh, from the people who love you and, and you know, um, an extension of love coming from you towards them. So it's a reciprocity thing, all right? What you put out is equally given back to you. So there could be a new relationship. Could be, you know, cups representing children for me. So some emphasis going on with children. Um, but I do feel uh, it may be linked to the three of wands when it comes to traveling. You know, whether it's a short distance travel uh, type of energy or a long distance trap type of, maybe family traveling. Or traveling, someone, tra you know, traveling with their child or children. But it's positive. I'm saying it's positive because that's what I'm feeling right now. So that's you, uh, Cancer, and Scorpio as well, Pisces. What's following the uh, Four of Cups is the the Fool card. So this is New Beginnings. This is the Major Arcana, the Fool, and this is always the start uh, definitely of something new. Once you um, put your best foot forward, uh, this is a card of being adventurous doing something, wanting to do something exciting, uh, taking risks. This is a card of taking risks, stepping out into the unknown. If you do so, if you choose to do so, the universe is there to support you. The fool always represents something new is about to begin or something new that you are ready to uh, start or begin for yourself. OK, but it's a good card. Major Arcana, the fool was following the Major Arcana. We have the. Ten of Pentacles. This is the inheritance card. Okay, this is the this is the law. <laughs> yeah, this is the big money card, uh, the wealth card in the deck. Ten of Pentacles represents abundance. Uh, if it's absence of money, as I always say, then it could be just you're feeling for some of you going into this week, feeling abundant about where you are um, in terms of your life situation. Things are good. Because uh, this is also, too, a good uh, card of being grounded, feeling stable, secure, and gener yeah, generous. So it's a card of those things. It could be that someone inherits uh, some money, money coming in um, from, you know, from, a, you know, some sort of inheritance or. Significant pay raise, promotion. It could also uh, be in line with the Six of Pentacles, a new job. Someone could be traveling and it's work related. See, I'm looking at the ships here and, and uh, pardon me for my slight pauses and stuff. When I see things, I focus in on them and I try to deliver a message behind that. But this Venetian deck has a lot of the energies where it relates to boats and stuff. Even in the Three of Wands, as we opened up, uh, there's boats in the background there and this one here um i forgot what they call those boats but it looks like um never mind it's a boat that i'm thinking it's uh usually in italy i have it at the tip of my tongue but i can't speak it for whatever reason Condoli or something or I don't know anyway so this is the wealth card Taurus Capricorn Virgo male or female represents this uh, ten of pentacles feeling abundant money coming in if it's the absence of money like I said before Pisces then you're feeling um, abundant about where you are in your in your life at this particular time okay feeling stable feeling secure and all those things come underneath that ten of pentacles what's following the ten of pentacles here um, oh look Pisces, we have another Pentacles. And this is where I was making my mistake calling you guys Taurus. It's because the Pentacles are on up here. So money coming in. You got six of Pentacles. You have the page of Pentacles. Now you have the ten of Pentacles. So this is the start of a new job. This could be the start of a new business uh, ideal proposition. It's underneath the three of wands. Remember I said the three of wands was the green light 
the go for any plans or ideals that you have had uh, that you were working on from, uh, you know, your recent past and now you're ready to move forward. So that could be a business plan, um, a business idea or a business venture for someone and you're ready to move forward with that. Okay, so again, the Pentacles is showing up here for you. The start is a court card, so it could be the birth of a child. It could be the Four of Cups. Could be the start of a new relationship, or some you know of some sorts, you know, romantic or development of a new friendship, business partnership. All right, following the Knave of Pentacles, uh, Pisces, we have more of your energy. So there's a definitely a, a need to celebrate. Uh, being in good company of other people's. This is the Knight of Cups, okay? So you are emotionally supported, again, with the Four of Cups coming in here, as I mentioned before, this energy still applies to the Knight of Cups, being in, this, in the company of people who are supportive of you and, you know, you're putting your love, your energy out towards them and you're receiving the same type of energy that you're putting out. So, yeah, you can see him um, with two other people here and it's not just him by himself, so he's in good company. He or she is in good company. And so you're feeling good about yourself. It may be some sort of form of celebration uh, taking place for some of you where, you know, it's related to someone who starts a new job, someone who gets that business uh, jump started, or some sort of business plan that you've been working on. Finally, you know, you're given the green light to push it forward. But uh, we have some good energy. And then also to the resources being available uh, money wise, if it is uh, those Pisces that I'm reading the energies for who are thinking about doing things um, on the side in terms of, you know, their own business or, you know, it could be some sort of home business going on. Uh, all things are possible. But this 10 would say that the resources are plenty more than available um, will be uh, available for you. And that's the abundance of the Ten of Pentacles as well. OK, like I said before, if it's the absence of money, then it's abundance. And then it could also be the uh, presence of money. And then you have a lot of money because that's the wealth card. All right. So following the Knight of Cups, uh, Pisces, we have the not see, look at that nine of pentacles. OK, so money is dominating uh, Pisces this upcoming week and uh, in a good way, not a bad way, because we don't even have the four of pentacles. It's where you would be focused on your uh, your work and your finances. But no, you're getting all of these um, great pentacles. So this is enjoying the fruits and um, hard work of your labor. If it is actually related to your work, uh, this is an open general reading. So you can apply to working hard towards uh, other areas of your life as well. You know, your relationships that you have with other people. And then you get to... Uh, enjoy all the effort and all the hard work that you put into those uh, energies. This also could be that uh, someone pulls in. We have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Someone could still be pulling into their investments or their savings for a 1K retirement, pulling money out uh, and doing something, treating you know yourself to something that you worked hard for. It could be, like I said, when the card showed up in another video, uh, that vacation that you always wanted to go on or, you know, could be paying off uh, some sort of education or could be taking money out to start your education. It also could be, you know, renovating your home or uh, just taking money out and treating yourself because you earned it. You deserve it. That's what that nine of Pentacles uh, represents. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female is showing up here for you, Pisces. And your reading is dominated by um no, your energy, the cups, and as well as the pentacles. Last card for you is the knave or the page of wands. So we have the page of wands that mirrors the pentacles, page of pentacles. Somebody's going to re receive some good news and surprises. It's work related. Money is involved. I'm seeing definitely uh, good, you know, financial support. If, if it's those Pisces that I'm reading for and they're looking to, uh, start a new business or they have a business plan that they worked on. Uh, this could be a good week for you to uh, push that energy forward because you have the support here. 
you definitely have the support when it comes to relationships. Now, this is an open general reading, like I said before, so it could be a new development of a business partnership. Uh, someone could be beginning to, you know, save money. Someone could be uh, getting a job, definitely getting a job. Someone could be going into a higher paying uh, position. Bonuses coming in. And then relationships with younger energies for Pisces. They don't have to be specific to um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female or fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female, but it could be. Making some sort of established connections with these energies here. And then the, your energies there is right there celebrating. This is all about celebration here for either someone about to get a pay raise, <laughs> a promotion, new job, taking money out that you've put away for a rainy day. And now you, you want to do something for yourself, your family, uh, treating yourself and then news coming in and or a surprise. This could be the bearer. The court card could be the person that comes in with the good news. You see he's holding the letter. He or, she, he or she is holding the letter and there's a scroll underneath the arm. So somebody's about to receive some sort of good news. The page of wands or the knave of wands is also to the initiation of being uh, inspired or the initiation of starting something new as well. It mirrors the page of pentacles. So starting a new job, starting to, um, you know, start saving or investments initiating a business plan so forth okay just fill in the blank so this is good energy for you guys pisces uh throw the comments in let me know uh and i hope i was consistent in saying pisces throughout because i like to <laughs> i like to be consistent uh sometimes i'm not but whatever you do this upcoming week this is what i have for you in presentation be safe and uh sending you all uh quite a bit of love and light your way until i talk to you again be well. Bye.